This is just shifting different, uh, kind of slowly fading from from color to color on all of the uh, brushes at the same time. This is a little bit of a lame pattern, but you can see the colors moving around a little bit. And this is a simple fade between two different colors. Picks two random colors every time and does a quick little fade between them. And this is sort of the same except it picks uh, four colors and it kind of walks them with a quick fade every few seconds. This is one of my first patterns. It's just uh, bouncing a quick, doesn't even really fade, it's just flashing from one to the next, walking back and forth. It's not the greatest. This one is one of my favorites. It's, you can see that it's a wave of, uh, of colors that are changing, and you can tell a little bit, I don't know if it'll show up in the film, but the colors when they change are uh, are being mixed uh, from like a hue to RGB formula so you get shades like in between reds and blues you get like purples and a little bit of oranges and you know it's, it's an attempt to mix the three RGB colors on the uh, on the light strands And this is Zoe's favorite pattern. Oh, now it's back to the two. This is one of my favorites. It's bouncing back and forth, and it's using that kind of hue to RGB color mix function again to uh, get some kind of funky shades as it moves back and forth. I don't know how well it's coming out in the film. This one I love. You get pure red, green, and blue, but the pattern, they're kind of like, uh, I think, you know, they're individual sine waves uh, spaced apart, and then it kind of rolls them forward and it rolls them backwards.